for a moment of the statement. Yep. Um, you know, it was a really good college game in Butler on Friday. We we're all really, really disappointed. Uh, I thought our team, we competed really hard, made a lot of, a lot of mistakes in game plans and defensive schemes. And when we did, Butler took full advantage of it, uh, you know, up five late and uh, just couldn't keep him off the free throw line. We guarded Baldwin really well, five for 17, and you know he goes 12 for 12 from the line. I think they didn't miss in the second half. But I know our team is better because of it. Uh, we missed an opportunity. Obviously, there's zero, uh, you know, morale games here. You know, it's you know it's one of those things that uh, we all went in that gym thinking we're going to win, and uh, that's the attitude that we've we've got to keep. We've got to be a better practice team. And I look forward to playing Nickel State tomorrow night. They've just been on kind of a, a death march. You know, they've just played all the money games and they've been had Louisville to a one possession game with about uh, probably about three minutes to go. One at Idaho, which is a hard place to win at. Uh, played Baylor. So uh, obviously we'll have our hands full, good three point shooting team. And uh, our team will have to be at its uh, at a really competitive uh, state of mind defensively because they probably shoot, I think, the second most threes of anybody in college basketball. You talked all all season, all, all season about what you needed out of Dom, what you needed out of Bruce, and then it, it Butler just seemed like both of them just couldn't get on track. What, what do you tell them after a game like that, and kind of what are you looking for overall between those two as far as production at the five? You know, they, they have been, like we've talked about, Ben, they've been – very good, you know, in our scrimmages, exhibition game, first game. Uh, it didn't surprise me by the week of practice they both had leading up to that. And so, you know, Bruce got in foul trouble. Uh, you know, he didn't really stay in a stance. He's trying to guard after the guy catches the ball, which is too late. Uh, you know, Dom started, I mean, like just broke off a couple plays offensively doing things that is not in his character. And uh, But you're right, for us to win and get in a, a national game like that, those guys have got to be a lot better, and their presence has got to be felt uh, better. And so, hopefully, we'll we'll see that, you know, Tuesday, and then in this tournament uh, in Destin on Friday and Saturday. You mentioned several things, Kermit. Uh, where do you think you guys can make quick improvement? And I guess, what would you like to see different against Nichols? Well, I mean, I have prided myself as a head coach my whole life of winning the inline out of bounds games. I think that's critical in trying to win on the road. We got beat 11-0. And uh, I don't know if we've given up 11 points in line of bounds in a year sometimes. And I mean, it was just absolutely just TD not doing responsibility. McDermott makes the first three of the game. Brian, which is a simple, just opposite skip to the corner, his coverage missed twice, that's nine. And then the, the last play of the first half, Kamar Ballin kind of made a, a play, you know, it was 11 nothing. We didn't execute in line out of bounds. We missed assignments. Uh, so that was a, a big part of, of trying to beat a really good team like Butler. So that, that's, we're going to kind of start there, Paris. Hopefully we see something better that tomorrow night. Kermit, late in the game with your five struggling, you had both KJ and Blake in there in crunch time. I mean, could you see uh, those guys play more in critical minutes, especially when you're needing some athleticism and playing catch up a little bit? Yeah, you know, we got down, obviously, because they both can drive it and shoot a little bit. You know, we, we really wanted Dom to be in there later on defensively because KJ, he really hadn't played much five, but he's pretty, pretty smart. I mean, he can, he's one of those guys that he kind of sees it and can – can kind of execute different positions because he hadn't played the five hardly at all. But at that particular time, we just thought that KJ gave us a better chance to win. And, uh, you know, we could, but when you get in those real live games, when they're getting those big centers, Bruce and Nam, they need to play.